Hi everybody, uh, you've seen this 40 before on our Facebook page, the CSI Facebook page. We've done everything from color sanding to polishing with a rotary buffer to an absolute perfect swirl free finish. Uh, today we're getting this car ready for the car show season. I haven't done this car for probably six months. So it's ready for um, you know, a nice spring cleanup. Today we're gonna go through the CSI garage kit in the CSI Garage Kit are basically four components and some applicators. The first component being the Q7 wax. We're going to use that on the whole entire car. The Q7 detailer, we're going to use that on like the interior leather vinyl products. Um, the nice part about that product is it's not greasy. So whatever the surface is, it'll keep that same surface without uh, contaminating with greases and oils which really attract a lot of dust. Uh, new Tire Lotion. New Tire Lotion, if you haven't used it before, it works great. Uh, leaves a satin finish, but it's, it, it gets absorbed into the tire. So it's never gonna sling off and go all over your nice clean paint job. And then the Ceramics Polish. The Ceramics Polish is the only product that we make for the automotive line of uh, products. That product will do everything from color sanding removal to today we're going to do some scratch removal just by hand uh, with some microfiber towels. And then we have a great clay bar. We're not going to need the clay bar for this car. As you can see, this car sits in a beautiful garage and uh, doesn't go outside unless it's going to a car show. So um, the clay bar is just in the kit and a great product to use on your everyday car that sits outside or gets some contamination on it. Our clay is set so it doesn't um, uh, affect the surface, um, but it will remove all of the surface contamination from bird droppings to fallout. Uh, tire applicator and then a pack of microfiber towels. So everything you need to do your detailing on your car in the garage or in direct sun. Today we're gonna to work inside the garage because it's nice and it's beautiful in here. It's nice and clean, the floor is perfect, and uh, you can see everything because the, the lighting is really well. So um, I'll go through each step of uh, you know every one of the components that we're gonna use and uh, should have this car done in probably 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, here's a little scratch. Um, it's actually a little bit worse than I thought, um, but we'll get it out. This car is an acrylic urethane paint job. I know this paint. That is important that you, um, that you know the painter or the person that painted it or the type uh, of work that they do before you attempt to do any scratch removal so that you have some idea of the amount of clear on the car. But I hope, uh, I hope the camera is picking it up. It's got, um, it's pretty definite right there. Um, it's uh, just a light scratch. So I'll mount the camera um, up on the wall there so you can see how I take that out. Okay, uh, this is the product, ceramics polish. And then this is a microfiber. Notice that our microfiber has no edging on it. Um, I like this microfiber. It, uh, you know, there's no need to put edging on your car if you don't have to. Um, these cars that I work on are very, very expensive. So I don't want to take any chances. Um, yes, the towels cost a little bit more than kind of, you know, the other towels with the edging on it, but it's not that much. So, um, Basically, we're going to uh, go over this scratch until it's removed, just uh, using a microfiber towel. Just apply it to the surface and then rub as hard as, hard as you feel necessary. Okay. Looks really, really good. I'll get a close-up of it. It all came out. I'm using the fluorescent tubes to see into the fender just to make sure that I got it. Looks great. Actual time, 
about <laughs> what uh, 15 seconds 20 seconds to uh, rub that out one application ceramics polish microfiber towel works really good and the nice part about it it's not a compound because if I would have done that with a compound I would have deep scratches from the product this product won't put any scratches in that it can't take out okay just uh, you know just so you can see what I'm doing here I'm using uh, I'm getting as close as I possibly can and I hope this camera I hope you're really seeing into the paint um, where it was and it being gone now there's no wax on here or anything this is just polish polish and a microfiber towel looks pretty good on to the next step okay gone over the whole car and removed the little scratches uh, there really weren't many um, the biggest one was there in the fender and the ceramics took it right out with polish so just a few seconds um, you know maybe 30 seconds to remove that scratch then I wiped down the whole car obviously you can see it looks pretty good in here and I'm I'm looking at it. it. It still looks really, really nice. This is a nice paint job. It's a very expensive paint job. Chrome is in really nice shape. Um, this car is well taken care of. I'm going to go over the whole car now with a microfiber towel and Q7 wax. I'll do it in kind of fast motion. I'll speed up the film um, because I'm going to go over the whole car. I'm going to apply a coat of wax over the whole entire car, let it dry, and then take it off with two microfiber towels. One or both are dry microfiber towels, but one to take off the major and then the second towel will be there to just kind of clean up any smudge marks that I might have missed with the first towel. This product, Q7 Wax, works in direct sun too. So it's real easy to use in here, obviously, and even in the sun. It's about uh, 75, 80 degrees here in California. Beautiful day. Could do it in the sun just as easy but it's a little easier to shoot this video um, just doing it in here. So here goes, uh, fold your towel so there's no pleats. Um, just put it in quadrants, apply the wax. The wax is thixotropic, so it, gets, uh, it actually turns into a gel. It's water here, and then gels when you put it in the rag. Apply it right to the surface, just a light coat. A little bit goes a long ways. It's not going to turn white in the cracks. And it puts a Carnuba coating on the whole car. You can use it on the chrome, stainless. Works great. It'll brighten all that work. Okay, went over the whole entire car with the uh, wax and a microfiber towel. Um, it, uh, you know, with this coating, the longer you let it dry, the better it is, the longer it's gonna last. You can take it on and, or put it on and take it off really fast, but I find that the longer you let it dry, um, the uh, longer it's gonna last. So I'll let this dry for about 10 minutes and then uh, we'll wipe it off. Okay, 
Um, taking two of the microfiber towels, make sure they're brand new. I mean, I like to use brand new towels. Um, or make sure if you're cleaning them that you know how to clean them. Um, don't use heat when you're washing or drying microfiber. The fibers will break and then you'll have all these little fiber particles all over your car and wonder why you're getting all that lint off the uh, microfiber. It's just because you're not washing them properly. So two brand new towels. Obviously we got them in the kit, so use them. Fold it in quadrants again. Now we're gonna wipe it off. I have to wear my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. Just like the movies. Wax on, wax off. Now one towel is taking off the residue, the thick residue, and then one towel is just coming in behind just to make sure that it's perfect. And it looks really good. Stainless looks good, chrome looks good. There's no smudge marks. This product is not greasy. These are water-based products. There's a big, big difference between greasy products that have a lot of solvent in them and true water-based products. And I really like these products. They're really working good. Even if you go over a couple sections again, just go ahead. Doesn't take long, it's really easy to do. Never, never touch the car. Always touch it with microfiber. Your hands have a lot of oil on them. Okay, so we've uh, waxed it. The actual video says six minutes, and uh, the uh, wiping it off is six minutes right now, actual time. So that's pretty fast, 12 minutes to go around the car now. I'm going to go back over it and make sure I didn't miss anything, but it looks pretty good. Um, okay. Now we're going to do the uh, tires and wheels. Obviously this has um, white walls on it and you can see it's just got a lot of brake dust um, on here. This new tire lotion works great for uh, reviving the white walls and making the black walls look really, really nice. We're going to use it on everything. We're going to use it on the paint and use it on the chrome. Um, all these products are compatible. Our wax, uh, quick detailer, tire dressing, everything is compatible. The base structure of all these products is the same. And then we put different components in there to address the rubber and things like that. But the neat part is it doesn't harm the paint. So if you get some on the paint, it doesn't matter. It's going to make it look really good. So use the applicator that comes in the kit. Spray it on the applicator. And if you notice, I always put the product from the polish, the wax, um, the tire dressing, um, new tire lotion on the applicator. Don't spray it on the car. It's going to make a mess. And I just wax the whole car, so I don't want to. I don't want to go back over it and have to clean all that stuff up. Just put a hefty coating on everything. It has a surfactant in the product that's cleaning the um, brake dust off. Let it soak in. The more you put on, the better. Scrub, scrub, scrub. 
The foam applicator is made for tires and wheels. Won't harm the paint, won't harm the chrome. This is a very, very clean car. You see a little bit of brake dust on there, but overall it's a very, very clean car. If the car is filthy dirty, don't, you know, obviously run it into the chrome and things like that. Use a lot of product. It's not a lot, but keep going over it until you get it really nice and clean. The idea is to get everything clean and treated and let the product soak into the tire as much as possible. We're also going to use this product on the, uh, the rubber mats. This 40 has rubber mats, real rubber mats. Um, all the exterior plastics, um, this car doesn't have any plastic yet. This is a 40 Ford, so pre-war car. Not going to see much plastic on a pre-war car. But you see a lot of real rubber parts, tires and uh, rubber mats, um, exterior rubber mats. You can see this tire kind of hit a curb, uh, it looks like. So you've got a little bit of scrubbing into the, uh, use the backside of the uh, applicator. It's a little coarser. Just take that smudge mark off. The white walls look really nice. And they look nice without bleaching them. Bleach works good, but um, it's not going to be real good for plastic um, or rubber um, and paint. So um, just use this product to clean everything up. White walls look really good. And that's even before we wipe them off. So now the uh, new tire lotion has soaked into the, the black wall. And we're going to take it off. Again, using a microfiber towel, nice and clean. Clean the white walls. Flip the towel, hit the chrome and the paint. Knock any brake dust you might have on there off. One wheel and tire in real time. Uh, let's see, video says 4 minutes and 21 seconds, real time, not bad. I'll hit all of them and then we'll look at it. Pretty snazzy, pretty fast. Okay, we're all done with the outside of the car and now we're going to wipe off the inside of the car. Obviously, this is a very, very nice car. Um, many, many dollars were spent um, on the interior and exterior of this car. And it is in really nice shape, even though it's probably, oh, it's probably close to six, seven years old. Um, and it has been shown regularly. Um, this customer loves to go to car shows. If you're from the Southern California area, I'm sure you know this car and uh, you may even know this uh, person here. But uh, it's a, a really fine example of a, a 40 Ford kind of hot rod modded um, leather interior. The product that I suggest you use, um, just to wipe it off, is Q7 Detailer. Now this product can be used on the outside of the car too, but we waxed the outside of the car. So in between shows, or maybe you're at the show, it gets a little dusty, wipe it off with the Q7 detailer. But for the inside of the car, dealing with leather and vinyl, um, and this car is all leather, um, all these parts are leather, this may be vinyl, the uh, top cover may be, uh, may be vinyl, feels like it is, a perfect match though. Use the Q7 detailer. Um, apply the product to the towel again, just so I'm not spraying a bunch of product all over the car and getting it on the chrome and then I got to wipe it off. It's just more labor. So use the Q7 detailer, just apply it right to the, um, right to the towel. And this is a brand new bottle, so have to, there you go. Okay, we're getting, 
get the towel nice and get a lot of product on there. Apply it right to the leather. Some people freak out about this. Ferrari owners, but I ensure them we're not. Even though this is leather, this is that dyed. There is a coating on this leather. I'm a country boy. I uh, was around cows my whole young life and never seen a cow this color. So even though this is leather material, you are not dealing with leather. You are dealing with what's on the outside of the leather. If it's in bad shape, well, there's not a whole lot you can do with it. But this is in great shape. Um, and it puts a, a coating on here. It's anti-static. So the dust isn't going to stick to it. And it'll protect it um, as much as a product like this can. But it looks really nice. It's not slippery. It's not slimy. It's not greasy. Just go and use it on the dash, use it on the seats. And when I get done, I'll straighten out all these seat belts so the customer knows I was here. Okay, so we'll do a once over on the outside of the car when I get this all finished and uh, I hope you like it. Okay, here's the 40 Ford all finished up. I'll just kind of walk around it. Um, you can check it out. It's a beautiful car fit and finish on this car and I've commented on it before when I was buffing it you can see the reflection of the other cars it's really nice so it's nice when you can use just simple products like our wax or quick detailer to um, to really just enhance what's already there Nice shiny paint. I'm sure Henry Ford never thought a 40 Ford would look like this. But there's many of them, and I'm happy to say I get to work on this one. No smudges. Pretty simple. Now the car can go outside and be shown and shown off. Tires and wheels look great. The rubber trim looks nice. You can see it has a slight shine to it, but not greasy. Not greasy at all. Tires aren't greasy. Nothing's going to come off. Chrome looks good. Paint, stainless, everything looks good. Well, I hope this explains um, everything that's in the kit. If you have any questions, feel free to call me right from the website, www.clearcoatsolutions.com. I'll pick up. Um, my phone number is right online, right uh, on the face page of uh, CSI. So happy polishing.